Hello, welcome back. Now, this is our first topic, introduction to Unix. Now, what exactly is this Unix business? As you can see from this first point here, it says Unix is a computer operating system. I'm going to explain a little bit more about what exactly the operating system is. Uh, let us see, or let us start from the very basics. We're going to look into what exactly a computer is made up of. A computer is made up of what? A CPU, which, would, which what we call as a central processing unit, which is a brain of the computer. Then, the second thing that this computer has is the RAM, random access memory, or many people call this as memory. Uh, these days, if you go to the market, uh, the memory is uh, getting cheaper, so it is very common to find out a computer with the memory of 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, in earlier days, it used to be in megabytes because it was too expensive. Then the third component, major component of a computer is a hard disk. And hard disk are all, disks are also getting cheaper, so you will find out these days uh, computers with 500 gigabytes, which is almost half a terabyte of hard disk. So these are the three main components of any computer. Now how does a computer work? Basically, CPU, the brain of the computer, reads information from the hard disk and brings it into the RAM. Why does it bring it into the RAM? Because CPU has to bring it to the RAM before it does any kind of processing, any kind of computation, any kind of mathematical uh, calculations on that. So the information or data, which is information or what we call as data, which is stored on the hard disk, first has to come to the RAM before CPU can operate on it. And then once the CPU operates on it, it will modify that data and again it will write it down to the disk. This is how it works. So if you open up a Word document, it will be actually opened in the RAM first and then written to the hard disk. This is how things will work. Or if it is already on the hard disk, then it will be brought into the RAM. Modifications will be done into the RAM by the CPU and then it will be written by CPU to the hard disk. So these are the three main components. <clears throat> now you will also see other peripheral components which are the uh, network card. This is what we call as NIC, network interface card, into which you put your network cable and because of that you are able to communicate to the entire world, to the internet. So that is also one of the comp components not a mandatory component but a optional component of a computer. But these three are definitely mandatory. Your computer cannot work if you don't have the CPU, if you don't have the RAM, if you don't have the hard disk. Network card is optional. Then you will have what is called as a mouse, the simple peripherals, keyboard, monitor. These are also some of the components. This is all of this stuff. I call this as a hardware. This is all hardware, but in order for this hardware to work properly, there has to be a software and software program that controls the entire computer is called as a operating system. So what is an operating system? It's a software program which controls the entire hardware and there are many, many different types of operating systems, which are those the most common is from uh, uh, Microsoft Windows, this is from Microsoft. Then the other one is uh, Mac OS, which is from Apple. Then uh, there are various flavors of Unix. Uh, these flavors are something called as AIX, uh, Solaris, uh, all that stuff is there. And uh, then there is Linux which is I consider as a flavor of Unix also. Many people don't consider that. I will tell you why there is this kind of a distinction. But Linux is also another operating system. So these are various operating systems that are available in the market right now. And they will work on the hardware. Now there is some compatibility issue. For example, if you buy a Unix uh, operating system or a, if you have a DVD, you cannot install it on each and every hardware. So there is a compatibility issue 
that certain operating system programs are going to work on certain hardware and they will not work on anything. But one thing you can remember, on any hardware that runs Windows operating system, Linux will definitely run. So Linux and Windows, that's why they are kind of very becoming, becoming very popular because they can work on the same hardware <coughs> and that is what we will be actually working into. So this is what a typical operating system is. It is a program, now let me get back to my notes now here. So what is an operating system? To summarize it, it is like this. An operating system is a program that controls all the other parts of a computer system both the hardware as well as the software. So I just mentioned that the operating system controls the hardware, but it also controls the software program that you install later on in that operating system. So for example, if you have Windows operating system, it is going to control your CPU, it's going to control your hard disk, it's going to control your memory, and at the same time, it's going to control your Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, uh, Windows Explorer, those are the software program. So the program that controls both hardware and software is the operating system, is what we call as the OS, operating system. Uh, and then it's the same point discussed further that it allocates resources uh, <coughs> to various programs that are running on that machine and it scheduled tasks. We will see all these things in much more detail. Right now, just remember the point that OS is a operating system that controls the hardware and the software. Now, another important point of, about the Unix operating system is that it is a multi-user and multitasking operating system. It means at a time, many users can work on that same computer and at a time, one user can do multitasking. So he can do multiple operations. Now, how does this work? Actually, if a person is sitting in front of a computer, because we are all desktop users, uh, we see, okay, one person is running or working on that computer. How can another person work in? It obviously happens through network. Another person sitting somewhere else in some different location, maybe in a different country, can log on to your computer in front of you remotely through network and he can still use the CPU, the memory, the hard disk. He can create files on your hard disk even though he is sitting somewhere else in the entire different location. So that's how multiple users work on the same computer and they can do multitasking at the same time. So this is in a brief what a typical operating system is and Unix is nothing but an operating system which is an, ex which is an extremely popular operating system. And now in the next video we will talk about the history of Unix, how it was built, how it was developed. So I will see you in the next video.